What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have something special which is for my girlfriend's car that I've been looking all over YouTube for on how to do it. But I decided why not just make a video on it since nobody's posted about it. Perfect opportunity. So behind me, well, so in front of me we have this little special thing that by the title you already know what it is. But this is what they look like in person. So this is what the actual seat looks like. If you hear bikes, is my little brother being annoying over there? <laughs> but this is what it looks like. Super soft. Apparently these are like pockets for like your phone or whatever. But the most important part, look at the back. Look at those sparkles, man. It comes with a little plastic cover for, I'm pretty sure if you don't damage it, obviously. This is gonna get really dirty. I hope it doesn't, but let's see how long it lasts this clean. But well, anyways, it comes with this little NRG like bracket. It doesn't come with this. I bought this separately. It's a seat rail from Planted Technology that, you know, that's what you use to mount it onto the car. But this was like $40 off Amazon. And with that, I also bought these sliders, which are in here. And this is a little slider thing that you lift up and be able to move the seat back and forth. It also came with its own hardware, so that's a plus, because these seats are actually just supposed to be mounted onto here, and actually you're not supposed to move them. But with sliders, you have the luxury of moving them back and forth and adjusting the seat however you want. As you can see, I already took off the seat. It's literally just four bolts. They're, both, they're all 12 millimeter bolts right there, right here, and two in the front. And then this little cable, is under your seat connected like this it connects to your seat belt here a better example of what it looks like just like that connected boom seat belt so remember take off your seat belt before you can put it onto the seat bracket because you need a seat belt unless you have harnesses and i just wanted to show you guys once you guys take off your little seat belt bracket little thing this the bolt that it comes with which is right here um you're gonna need a nut obviously to tighten the bolt because on the factory seats on the bracket there's actually a nut welded onto the bracket so you're going to need one for you to be able to bolt it onto your new aftermarket seat bracket and the size was 7 16th dash 20 so that's the size of the nut that you want to look for so just go to home depot or lowe's or whatever i went to home depot it was like a dollar i think and i got that all right, so this is the actual seat bracket. I took it off the seat for you guys could see what it looks like. So there goes the seat belt. This is the driver's side, of course. And then there's all these little like holes where you can mock up your seat and be able to tighten it to whatever specification you want. But for some reason, there's not that much play with this seat. So where you really wanna bolt on your bolts to is the one right there in the middle same thing on that side same thing on that side and on that side those three little grooves that you see the little cutouts the middle one is the one that you want to use to bolt up your seat everybody say hi to the actual owner of the car miserable at work say hi babe don't work at all <laughs> no 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 you can't do that you can't be doing that <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna attach the actual sliders onto either the seat or the rails. Don't know yet, but we're gonna figure it out. So let's get to it. All right, so quick little update. What you wanna do, like I said, is bolt the seat sliders onto the actual seat. See, right there. So the way you do it is you see the slider has two ways. This way and this way, right? The actual slider mechanism is inside what you want to do is take the other side which is more flat see no groove in the middle and that's what you attach to the actual seat boom right and then the sliders right here the inside see how the inside moves unlike this one it's flat 
This one is not. This side goes towards the ground. Towards seat, towards the ground. So that's the side you attach to that right there. So I'm gonna quickly finish bolting all these in and then we should be able to attach it to that and then to the car. Oh, and one other thing, comes with these little Allen bolts, right? Uh, they're really good, I actually bought some more uh, because I previously tested if the seat actually fit, if I could be able to make this video because I actually bought some Corbel ones with um, the seat rails already included and everything and it didn't fit for anything. So just save yourself the time and money and just go to Amazon and buy it there. So like I was saying, these Allen bolts come with a locking nut on top. See, you go and, it's, and it locks at a specific amount of like thread. It's not gonna be enough because this is gonna have too much play in it, too much space. So what you wanna do is go, go to Home Depot and get yourself just a regular nut. And then that way you can actually bolt it in and actually tighten it because with the locking nut, it's not gonna let you tighten it. That's the size right there where you can know exactly what it is. M8125. So just get yourself a couple of those. Those are standard nut sizes for Hondas anyway. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to have some laying around. So let me quickly do all this, all right? Then we'll be back. Oh, one more thing. What you wanna do uh, to actually be able to put the bolt in is slide the rail up because the bolts, hold, because the bolt holes are actually, you know, inside, like underneath. And with the rail in the way, it's not gonna let you, so just slide it up or down, whichever way. One eternity later. All right, so we're finished with that now. I know it's like freaking nighttime already, as you can see, mad dark, it took me a while. Um, but everything's bolted on See all you're gonna have to do is keep pushing the rail in and out for you could tighten these bolts This is exactly what I did for you guys could see I put the allen bolt through the rail not from above like this Well technically if you think about it it's the bottom. But anyways, that's all I did. All you got to do is just find a way to bolt it on and Like I told you bolt it on to the middle of these little three little dashes AK cutouts, so one there and one on the other side right here in the middle. Same thing under this, which is right there in the middle. And all I did was leave these ones loose, which is the ones that are connected to the actual seat and not to the actual rail. This is the actual seating rail, and then this is the actual slider. So I connect I left these loose where I could be able to move them left and right for I could adjust them in the car for I could be able to close the door. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like tomorrow morning because as you can see it's dark and you're not gonna appreciate the seat. So we're gonna to have to wait a little bit. <laughs> All right, so it's actually been like probably like a month since that last clip. I know, sorry it took long, but you guys won't know that. But anyways, it's been like a month and I wanted to test out the seat, see how it holds up, see if it breaks because I've seen reviews that the little sliders break um, like the first day or like the first use but luckily for me it hasn't broken or anything uh, everything is still fine works perfectly well and I have adjusted the seat multiple times uh, for my girlfriend and you know when I'm driving when she's driving and stuff like that but this is what it looks like in cabin this is what it looks like inside it's a little bit dirty here because of this seat belt because I wrap it around and same thing over here right here but if you have harnesses, it shouldn't be a problem. But it really completes the car. It's a look, basically, with the pink on the inside. And yes, I know that's dirty. Need to clean it. But see how it's pink inside? Pink seat. Really completes the look. And also, I didn't show you guys, but I got some bigger meats for her car. These are currently 205 15s. It just makes her car look super aggressive. And yes, that is super cambered. Um, I changed the upper control arms off camera and there's something going on with them. I think the camber adjuster is loose. I can't drive the car yet because it literally pulls super hard to the right and to the left when you turn. So the alignment is bad and the camber is horrible. So I gotta fix that before I actually start driving it. But 
the meats really suit the car give that more aggressive look that looks better on most integras and also i got the car tinted it's five percent all around that's what this car needed as you could see except the only thing that i didn't do was the front obviously don't want to get pulled over 24 7. seat fits in there perfectly and i'm 6'2 and i have more than enough room to get in and out see this is what i'm saying six foot i still have a lot of head space let me see if i can show you guys i'm wearing a hat but it's probably like three four inches of extra head space if you were to help wear like a helmet or something um and it hugs you really nice as you can see i'm wearing a sweater so it's kind of baggy see hugs you very nice and like i said perfect chair for her build at least but yeah i just want to say thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace